<laughs> Caillou is going swimming with Mommy and Daddy. Here we are, Caillou. Are you ready to practice your swimming? Caillou checked that he was wearing both his armbands. They would help him stay afloat. Yep. Caillou looked around and was very excited to see a slide leading right into the pool. Look, Mommy, a slide! Wait, Caillou! Caillou, you mustn't run at the pool. It can be very wet and you could slip and fall down. Look here. See, rule number one, no running. Caillou wanted to be safe at the pool. Sorry, I just wanted to see the slide. It's okay, Caillou. Now, let's take a look. Caillou climbed up the ladder and sat at the top of the slide. Come on, Caillou! I'll be right here to catch you when you land in the pool. Caillou looked down at Mommy in the pool, but now he was up here, it looked an awfully long way to the bottom. I got too scared. It was a lot higher than I thought it would be. Never mind, Caillou. Let's go into the pool from the shallow end. Caillou climbed down the ladder into the pool to join Daddy. That water was just the right height for him to stand on the bottom. Better? Much better. Look, Mommy, I'm swimming! Very good, Caillou. How about you try to swim to Daddy? Caillou swam towards Daddy. That's it, Caillou. Just a little further. I made it all by myself! You certainly did. Caillou watched as Mommy swam under the water. He was very impressed. Ta-da! Caillou wanted to try and swim underwater too, but his armbands wouldn't let him sink. Caillou, you can't go underwater with your armbands on. Shall I hold on to them for you? Caillou wasn't ready to take off his armbands just yet. It's okay. I'll go under the water <laughs> another day. <laughs> hey, no running! Hi there. What's your name? Caillou. Hi, Caillou. I'm the lifeguard. My job is to make sure everyone is safe at the pool. If I see anyone being unsafe, I blow this whistle. I saw those children running over there. That's against the rules. That's right. And thank you for calling out to them. Caillou remembered what Daddy told him about running at the pool. If you run at the pool, you could slip and fall over. Exactly. Here. Now you can be a lifeguard, too. But only blow it if you see someone breaking the rules, okay? Caillou felt very proud to be a lifeguard. Say, have you tried the water slide yet? It's lots of fun. I tried, but I got scared. It's okay to be scared, but a brave lifeguard like you has nothing to worry about. Well... I guess I could have another try. Great. And don't worry, I'll be watching to make sure nothing unexpected happens. Caillou climbed up the ladder once more. It still looked a long way down. I'm here, Caillou. Caillou was ready. He counted to three and then pushed himself down the slide. One, two, Three! Oh, Caillou, you did it! What a brave lifeguard you are! That was amazing! Did you see the big splash I made? Can I do it again? Daddy, the pool rules said no grown-ups on the slide! Caillou was very happy. He would never be scared to go down the slide at the pool again. Explorer Caillou and his friends were on a rescue mission to save Teddy. She's getting away! Faster, guys! Caillou, no catch Rosie! Rosie, too fast! Leo is struggling to keep his dinosaur under control. How do you steer these things? Oh. 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 
You guys look like you've got yourself in quite a tangle there. What have you been up to? Cave Girl Rosie has stolen Teddy. We are trying to catch her on our pet dinosaurs and save Teddy. Well, that does sound like quite the adventure, kids. You better get back to it. Sarah and Clementine wanted to catch up with Cave Girl Rosie to save Teddy. But they knew they had to think of a plan. I can see her going over the mountain, past the clearing, to the north. Maybe that's where her cave is. Nice spot, Clem. Let's draw out the island and we can figure out the best way to get to the cave. We're here. And the cave girl has escaped back to her cave on the other side of the mountain. To get there, we need to pass the quicksand lake and the river. We don't have to ride the dinosaurs again, do we? I think we should go on foot so we can sneak up and catch Ro- I mean, the cave girl. Let's go! The team of explorers came across some quicksand. Caillou thought this was going to be tricky, but Clementine had an idea. Then they crossed a river, which was very wide and very deep. Sarah spotted some stepping stones they could use to safely cross. and his explorer friends had finally arrived. They were so close to finishing their rescue mission. Cave girl Rosie was fast asleep, snuggled up to Teddy by the campfire of her cave. There she is! And there is Teddy! We need to move in slowly and quietly. We don't want to wake her. <gasps> Leo! Leo, wait! I got him! Guys, I saved Teddy! <laughs> That's not good. Look! Caillou and his explorer friends rode through the jungle trying to get back home safe. Over the mountain, through the river, and across the quicksand. But the Gilbertosaurus Rex wouldn't stop chasing them. Then, Leo had an idea. You did it, Leo! The team of explorers had saved the day and rescued Teddy. It was time for them to rest up before their next adventure. Caillou was going to a food fair in the park with Grandma and Grandpa. Wow! 
Look at all the food, Grandpa. That's right, Caillou. This is called a World Food Fair. The people here are making food from all different countries, Caillou. It's a great chance for you to try some food you might not have tasted before. Caillou could smell all kinds of unusual things, but he didn't know what they all were. What can you smell, Caillou? I'm not sure, but it smells yummy. Well, come on then. You lead the way. My tummy is starting to rumble. Well, hello there. How can I help you today? Hello, this is my grandson, Caillou. He's going to try some food from around the world. Well, Caillou, you've come to the right place. Have you tried a taco before? Caillou thought about all the nice food Mommy and Daddy made for him at home, but he couldn't remember having tried a taco before. I don't think so. What is it? A taco has a hard, crunchy shell on the outside and a tasty filling on the inside. Mmm. Well, that settles it. One taco, please. Here you go, Caillou. Now be careful, Caillou. Make sure you don't squeeze it too hard. Oh, dear. Caillou's taco had broken. It had looked so yummy, and he didn't even get to try one bite. That can happen with tacos. Here, have another one on the house. Thank you. Remember to be careful this time. Try not to squeeze it so hard. Caillou held the taco very carefully in his hands and took a bite. Mmm, it's really good. Caillou thought that tacos were very tasty, and he liked the way the outside crunched. It's crunchy. Here, try some. Okay, Caillou, where to next? A woman at the next stall was stirring something in a large metal pot. Caillou wondered what it could be. Hello, this is Caillou. He is trying different food today. Very nice to meet you, Caillou. What are you stirring? It's a curry. Curry is a very popular food in a country called India, and it's full of all kinds of interesting spices. This one is spicy, and this one is mild. Caillou hadn't heard of India or curry before. India? Where's that, Grandpa? <laughs> India is a country on the other side of the world, Caillou. Can we have one spicy and one mild, please? Thank you. I'll try the spicy one. Mmm, just right. Caillou noticed that Grandpa's face had started to turn red. What's the matter, Grandpa? <laughs> that spicy curry is too hot for your grandpa, Caillou. Here, try this. It's a drink made with yogurt called a lassi. It'll help you cool your mouth down. <laughs> Thank you. That's much better. That spicy curry sounds scary. Caillou wanted to try all of the food, but he didn't want to eat anything too spicy. Don't worry, Caillou. This one is only a tiny little bit spicy. I promise. Caillou felt a little tingling in his mouth from the spices, but it didn't make his face turn red like Grandpa. It's not too spicy at all. I think I should have the mild one next time as well. Thank you for the curry. Hello. Care to try some sushi? Mmm, my favorite. Sushi? That's right. Sushi is from a country called Japan. It's usually made with rice and raw fish. Caillou didn't like the sound of raw fish one bit. Raw fish? Yuck! Can we have three pieces, please? One for me, one for Grandma, and one for Caillou. Give it a try. You never know. It might be your new favorite. <laughs> it's too weird. I can't eat it, Grandpa. That doesn't matter, Caillou. Different people like different foods. I know. How about you and Grandma go find a picnic bench, and I'll bring you something I know you'll love. Grandpa had brought Caillou something, but he was keeping it a secret. What have you got, Grandpa? 
You'll have to guess. Caillou liked guessing. Okay. What if I told you that it's made by mixing flour, eggs, and water? Okay, well, what if I told you that this food comes from a country called Italy? Oh, I know! Pizza! Almost. How about if I told you that this was your most favorite food in the world? Caillou knew what Grandpa was hiding. It's spaghetti! That's right! That is my favorite! Yummy! Caillou had lots of fun trying the different kinds of food at the fair. But he really loved his spaghetti. It was summer vacation, so Mommy and Daddy had taken Caillou and Rosie camping in the forest. Daddy had found them a beautiful spot right next to a lake. Here we are. Can I help? Sure, Caillou. With your help, we'll have the tent up in no time. Caillou was very excited. He really wanted to go and splash around in the lake. Look at the lake! Can we go and play in it? Soon, Caillou. First, we need to put our tent up. Caillou helped Daddy with the tent. It was his job to hand Daddy pegs so that the tent didn't blow away. Almost done. Just a few more pegs should do it. Here you go! Hey! Go away, you! Help! These bugs are after me, Daddy! Slow down, Caillou. You need to be careful around the tent. You could trip. Oh. <laughs> Don't worry, Caillou. I think the bugs have gone now. Oops. How about you guys go and play by the lake while I put the tent back up? Caillou watched as Mommy skipped a stone across the lake. It bounced along the top of the water a few times before falling into the lake with a little plop. Wow! Magic! Caillou wanted to skip a stone, too. He picked up a stone and threw it as hard as he could at the lake. It didn't work! How did you make it bounce, Mommy? <laughs> Here, let me show you. First, we need to find a nice, flat stone. Like this one? That's perfect. Now, try and throw it low and straight. I did it! Great job, Caillou. Froggy! <laughs> oh, look! Rosie's found a frog. We're frogs, Rosie! Ribbit! Ribbit! The frog likes the lake, too! Bye-bye, Froggy! What are you two doing? We're frogs! Ribbit! <laughs> wow, that sounds like fun. The tent is back up. Do you guys want to come to collect some firewood? Okay. Caillou found lots of good sticks in the forest. He counted each one as he walked along. One stick, two sticks, three sticks, four! Look, I found four already! That's a lot, Caillou. <laughs> Great job, team. Let's head back to camp. It'll be getting dark soon. Caillou was nice and warm by the campfire. Daddy was busy making them all some tasty roasted marshmallows. Are they ready yet? Not yet. The outside will turn light brown. Then you know it's ready. Not so close, Caillou. We have to be careful around the campfire. Otherwise, someone might get hurt. Sorry, Mommy. I wanted to see my marshmallow. Caillou saw that the marshmallow was turning a light brown color. They're ready now, Daddy! Don't eat it! It's mine! <laughs> I'm not going to eat it, Caillou. I'm just cooling it down a little. Mmm! It's all gooey inside! Wow! What was that? Was it a spaceship? That was a shooting star, Caillou. If you see a shooting star, it means you can make a wish. You have to keep your wish a secret, though. 
Otherwise, it might not come true. Caillou closed his eyes tight and made a wish. I did it! I made a secret wish! Well, I'm sure it'll come true, Caillou. Caillou didn't tell Mommy or Daddy, but Caillou had secretly wished for more marshmallows. His wish had come true already. It was a beautiful sunny day, so Mommy and Daddy had taken Caillou to the park to enjoy a picnic with his friends. This looks like a good spot to have our picnic. Here I come! Choo-choo! Oh, sorry, Caillou. I didn't see your train coming through. All aboard! Come on, Rosie! Hop on the train! Choo-choo! <laughs> chugga, 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 choo-choo! Oh, no! Look out! Uh-oh! Where's Rosie gone? <laughs> Again! I know! How about we all play a game of hide-and-seek? Yay! I love hide-and-seek! Let's play in pairs. I'll hide with Rosie, and Clementine, you can hide with Leo. Then, Caillou and Daddy can come and find us. Great idea! Come on, Leo. I know a great place we can hide. Let's go and find a good hiding spot, Rosie. Leo, Clementine, Mommy, and Rosie all hurried off to hide from Daddy and Caillou. Okay, Caillou. Close your eyes and count to ten. One, two, three, four... Caillou opened his fingers a little. He wanted to see where everyone was hiding. No peeking, Caillou. Sorry. I just wanted to see where they were going. I know, but if we peek, it spoils the game. Five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten! Okay, we're coming. Ready or not. Daddy, I think I saw someone behind that tree. I found you. <laughs> well done, Caillou. Have you found Leo and Clementine yet? No, not yet. Well, let's keep looking. I'm sure they're close by. Caillou thought he could see something moving behind a park bench. I found you! Aw, you found us. After all this hiding and seeking, you must be hungry. I think we should go and have our picnic. Caillou was sitting on the picnic blanket enjoying his picnic. Here you go, Caillou. Wow! Look how big it is! Watermelon! Oh, no! Oops, don't worry, Rosie. I'll get you another juice box. Daddy looked in the picnic basket for another juice box, but they were all gone. Oh, no. There's none left. It's okay, Rosie. You can share mine. What a good brother you are, Caillou. Oh, no! Ants! They're on me! They're on me! Me too! It's okay, Caillou. They're just after Rosie's spilled juice. Look. Let's move to another spot. We don't want ants in our sandwiches. Look, Rosie. Your juice wasn't wasted. Now it's a yummy treat for the ants. Caillou thought that the ants would be good at playing hide-and-seek, especially if they were looking for yummy treats. Today, Mommy and Daddy had taken Caillou and Rosie on a trip to the theme park. Caillou was so excited. Theme parks were the most fun places in the world. This is going to be the best day ever! It was hard for Caillou to decide which ride he wanted to go on first. 
So Daddy suggested they try the roller coaster. You need to stand next to this measuring stick, Caillou. Why? We have to check if you're tall enough to go on the ride. Tall enough? Yep. Rosie wanted to go on the roller coaster too, but she was still too little. Don't worry, Rosie. There's lots of other fun rides you can go on. Ready, Caillou? Ready! <laughs> The roller coaster slowly began to move forwards. It went higher and higher and higher. Uh, we're getting really high. I know. We can see the whole park from up here. I'm scared, Daddy. Don't worry, Caillou. Here, hold my hand. The roller coaster was really fast. Ooh. How you could feel the wind blowing against his face as they zoomed around. <laughs> this is awesome! Caillou, you were very brave. Caillou and Rosie <laughs> found a great place for a photo. <laughs> Look, Mommy, Rosie can go on the roller coaster after all. Wow, you look like you're going really fast. That's right, Rosie. Shall we have a go? Ready, Rosie? <laughs> Here we go. Giddy up, Rosie. I'll race you to the finish line. Caillou <laughs> had lots of fun on the big roller coaster, but he loved going on the carousel with Rosie and his family just as much. Today, Mommy and Daddy had taken Caillou and Rosie on a very special trip to the zoo. Here we are. Caillou looked at the map of the zoo. He could see lots of pictures of all the different animals. Which animals do you want to go and see first, Caillou? Let's go and see the elephant. Great choice, Caillou. Where is it, Mommy? Shh. Caillou looked for the elephant, but he couldn't see it anywhere. <laughs> there it is! Caillou liked the elephant. <laughs> he especially liked the noise that it made. <laughs> Can we get a pet elephant? <laughs> I don't think we have room for an elephant at home, Caillou. They're much too big. Look! The mommy and the daddy lion are sleeping. Would you like me to take your picture, Caillou? Yes, please! Say cheese! Help! Don't worry, Caillou. It's just a baby lion. I think he wants to play with you. Ha! <laughs> 
Roar! <laughs> I did it! <laughs> Hi, I'm Linda. What's your name? I'm Caillou, and this is my sister Rosie. Hello, Caillou. Hello, Rosie. Would you like to come and feed the monkeys with me? Yes, please. Caillou was very excited. He'd never fed a monkey before. These monkeys love to eat fruit and vegetables. Why don't you and Rosie put some on that rock for them? They also love to play. <laughs> Caillou, come down from that tree. We have to go home soon. I'm down here, Daddy. That's just a monkey. Oh, there you are, Caillou. Look what I found, Caillou. It's an elephant. This one is just the right size to come and live at home with us. Caillou had loved his day at the zoo, and he was very happy to have his very own elephant to take home. Today, Mommy and Daddy had taken Caillou and Rosie on a special trip to the lake to celebrate the 4th of July. Caillou could see lots of people enjoying themselves. Who are all these people, Mommy? They're here for the party, Caillou. Today is a special day where people get together to celebrate and have fun. <laughs> Caillou saw a group of children playing a game of tag. They all had their faces painted like different animals. <laughs> Can I get my face painted too, Mommy? Of course you can, but how about we go for a swim first? Caillou had lots of fun playing in the water with Rosie. Look, Mommy! Rosie and I are being fish! There. Are you here to have your faces painted? Yes, please. I want to be a bear just like my teddy. Great choice. Now hold still. Caillou tried his best to stay still while the nice lady painted his face, but the brush was very ticklish. <laughs> hey, that tickles! Almost finished. Caillou looked at himself in the mirror. He looked just like Teddy. <laughs> Look, I'm a teddy bear! <laughs> Who wants a hot dog? I do! I do! Hello there! What can I get you? We'll have four hot dogs, please. Coming right up. Here you go. Help yourself to ketchup and mustard. Thank you. Can you help me with the sauces, Caillou? Okay. Caillou squeezed as hard as he could, but the ketchup wouldn't come out. It's not working. You have to twist the top, Caillou. Oh, I see. <laughs> it was time for the firework display. Caillou was very excited. Are the fireworks going to start soon, Daddy? 
Any minute now, Caillou. Just keep watching. It's starting! Caillou had a wonderful day celebrating with Mommy, Daddy, and Rosie. He couldn't wait to do it all again next year. It was a beautiful, sunny day outside, but Caillou was having lots of fun with Clementine indoors. They were playing a new computer game called Dig and Build. Nice one, Clementine. You carry on building the base while I go into the forest and find us some more wood. Okay, Caillou, but be careful. The forest is full of giant spiders. Caillou, what are you doing sitting inside? I told you to stop playing that video game ages ago. We can't stop now, Mommy. It'll be dark soon and we have to get the base ready before the monsters come. You and Clementine have been playing inside all morning. It's a beautiful day. You should be outside playing in the garden. Just five more minutes, please. Yeah, please. No, that's enough. Turn it off now. Okay, I did warn you. Mommy, we weren't finished yet. That was your last chance, Caillou. You're grounded. No more video games today. You have to go outside and help Daddy and I with the chores. But, Mommy... Come on, off you go outside. Otherwise, it'll be no more video games tomorrow, either. Caillou was very grumpy. He didn't want to go outside. He wanted to play more of his video game. What are we supposed to do out here? Well, you can start by helping Daddy. He's been raking up all the leaves and sticks from the lawn. Hi, Clementine. Hi, Caillou. What's the matter? Mommy turned off our video game. She said we have to come and do chores outside. Well, she's right, Caillou. Video games are lots of fun, but playing them too much isn't good for you. I know. Why don't you help me finish collecting these leaves, and then we can play a game. Deal? Okay, I guess. Hey, Clementine! Look at this! Wow! It's just like Dig and Build! You're right! We can finish building our base after all! There we go! Now we each have a pickaxe, a spade, and an axe! Perfect! Now we can start to collect some materials to build our base. It'll be nighttime soon, so we'll have to be quick. Good idea! Let's go and collect some stones first. I think I saw some over there. Great, let's go. You were right, Caillou. There's loads of stones here. Caillou and Clementine collected the stone using the pickaxes they had crafted. My bag's almost full. We should head back to base and start building. There! That looks awesome. Now we'll need to make some walls and a door. Let's go and gather some more wood and sticks. Great idea! We can get some from that tree over there. Caillou and Clementine used the axes they had crafted to gather the wood from the tree. Hey, where did my rake go? <laughs> wow, I thought Caillou would still be grumpy. But it looks like they're having lots of fun doing the chores. There! That should be plenty. Quick, let's go and finish the base. It's starting to get dark. Phew! We did it! Yeah, and just in time. Let's get inside. We can build some more in the morning when it's safe. What an awesome base we've built! I know. It's better than our video game base. <gasps> oh, what was that? Don't worry. Nothing will be able to get us while we're in here. <gasps> oh, no! We left the front door open! Close it, quick! Uh, uh, a monster! Hurry, Caillou, 
We'll have to use the secret exit to escape. Guys, you've tidied up the whole garden. No, we didn't. We were playing dig and build. We just finished building our base when a monster attacked us. Luckily, it turned out to be Gilbert. My goodness. Well, all these adventures must have made you both hungry. How about we go inside and I can make you a snack? We can't. We have to make some adjustments to our base. Yeah. What if we get attacked by a real monster next time? Caillou loved playing his video game with Clementine. But building a real base outside was much more fun. Today, Caillou was having a play date with Clementine. They were playing king and queen of the castle. Hello, I am King Caillou. What's your name? I'm Queen Clementine. It's nice to meet you, King Caillou. What are all those boxes for, Daddy? Mr. Daniels down the street is moving house, so we're letting him borrow these boxes. Caillou thought that the boxes looked like big building blocks. I know. How about we build our own castle? That's a great idea, Caillou. You can be the king, and I can be the queen. I'm going to build the walls. I'm going to build the tower. There, our castle is finished. Lower the drawbridge, Clem. Wow! This place is huge! Hello, Queen Clem. Hello, King Caillou. Shall we go to the top of the tower? We can see the whole kingdom from up there. Okay. We're so high up! From the top of the tower, King Caillou and Queen Clementine could see for miles around in every direction. It's so beautiful! This is the best kingdom ever! Let's go and sit on our thrones! As King Caillou and Queen Clementine entered the throne room, they were shocked to find that somebody was already sitting there. Hey! You can't sit there! Only a king or queen can sit on the throne! Me queen! Me queen! Oh! <laughs> it's you, Rosie! Rosie, you can't be the queen. Clementine is the queen. It's okay, Rosie. You can be the princess. There. Pretty. Oh, no. The castle is under attack. It's a giant. Okay, playtime's over. We have to take these boxes to Mr. Daniels now. Oh, but we were playing king and queen. It's okay, King Caillou. I'll bring them back for you to play with once Mr. Daniels is finished with them. Yay! Caillou had loved being the king, and he couldn't wait to build another castle with his friends. 